De la carencia de creatividad surge esta posibilidad de que existan personajes como Ralph, eh, que son malos, pero son buenos para la gente. ¿Cómo surgió? I'm someone that I love uh, imperfect characters, and, and I like being able to tell um, a Disney story with a character like Ralph, who, because he's a bad guy, you know, that, that he makes mistakes. He makes a lot of bad choices, and sometimes he steals things, and, you know, he lies to people. Um, and, and I think that's a great source of comedy in this movie. Um, and I think that's interesting to start a character from that place and then watch, you know, this very immature, selfish character um, mature and become someone who's, who's selfless that would uh, do something at the end of the movie um, that is so selfless that he would not do at the beginning of the movie. So to me, that's an interesting character, and that's a funny character, and, and it feels like... Um, Uh, a real character. Um, it's the type of character I would like to watch in a movie. Eh, hace muy poquito se supo la noticia que Star Wars fue, fue comprada por Disney y eh, bueno, Rich pertenece a Disney hace mucho tiempo y más allá de eh, ser eh, este, un animador, digamos, eh, bueno, quiero saber si no le interesaría dirigir Star Wars en algún momento, ya que George Lucas desistió. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> um, I I am a huge fan of Star Wars. Uh, when Star Wars came out in 1977, I was 11 years old, and um, I before that I was a Star Trek fan, but then Star Wars came out, and I was uh, absolutely fanatic for this movie. Um, I, I used to go with my friends to see the movie. Um, I grew up near Los Angeles, and um, we would go to Westwood Village to see the movie and stay for three showings every time. So we would spend an entire day at the theater watching the movie. I was nuts for Star Wars and, um, and every movie that came out after that. So, um, And I work with a lot of people who are huge fans of Star Wars, too, and that love that franchise, that, that I think uh, now that, that uh, Disney and Lucasfilms has merged, um, I think that Star Wars is in very, very good hands. Uh, Michael Arndt is uh, someone that I've worked with, uh, and he's writing the new Star Wars, Episode 7, as they reported, and, and he... It's going to be good. You know, it's Michael's a wonderful writer. He's brilliant. Um, again, another fan of Star Wars. He loves those characters, loves that genre, loves that world. I, I have no doubt that it's going to be, that Episode 7 will just be fantastic. Si hubiera tenido, si tenía que elegir un personaje eh, ya conocido de los videojuegos, eh, eh, un villano, ¿a quién hubiera elegido para hacer una película como Ralph, el demonedor? Oh, villain. Bison and Clyde and Bowser, um, yeah, and because that's like working with that's like working with De Niro and you know uh, the great Al Pacino. You know, it's just like working with great actors. You know, these are legendary characters um, and individuals. So um, it, it's a great honor, you know, to work with these guys, and, and I hope that. We'll have a chance to work with them some more in the future.